Knowing how to list up your items on eBay correctly is the single most important part of the selling process. In today's video, I'm going to take you through a beginner-friendly, step-by-step guide on how to list up your items on eBay to have them go on to sell incredibly fast. Now, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to be using Alias on DVD. Season 1 to 5 is going to be the product, but you can do this process for absolutely any product on eBay. So don't stress that if it's not a DVD you're trying to sell, uh, this process will still apply for you. Um, we're also going to be using the laptop version of the Seller Hub, um, which is the, the process that we go through for our listings. You can also do it on the mobile phone as well. Um, I do a lot of my listings on the mobile. It's just much easier to show you guys how to go through the process uh, on the laptop. So diving into the laptop, uh, we're going to go up to here on the Seller Hub and under listings, you'll see create listings. Uh, we're just going to click on that. And that's going to prompt us to start to build a bit of a title for our item. Now, obviously, using Alias today, we've got Alias Season 1 to 5. So I'm going to go in there and put in some keywords to get us started. Alias DVD Season 1 to 5. And we'll just do a bit of a search on that. Now, what happens from here is eBay will prompt you with some other matches that are sitting on eBay already. They're live and available for purchase. And you can use their, their existing listings for your own listing. Um, you'll see here that there's a bunch of different ones down the bottom here. They're not all an exact match. You've got season, right there, you've got season one of Alias. Um, that's not going to be exactly what we're after. You've also got a season one to four as well. So um, it's not always an exact match, but we could keep scrolling through here until we find something like this, uh, which does match what we're trying to do. The Complete Collection Series 1 to 5. This one, though, does say Limited Edition. And the one that we're trying to sell isn't limited edition. So what I'm actually going to do here is, is, is start from scratch. And as a beginner seller, um, I just I recommend that you guys get into best, best practice uh, of just going continue without match and building your own and getting familiar with the right characteristics for your listing. Um, so we're going to click on that. And then from there, confirm your details. We're going to say that this here, having a look at the condition of the discs and the cover, we're going to say that it's in very good condition. So we're going to go, go ahead and hit continue to listing. From there, it's going to take you to your complete listings page. And the first step in the process for our eBay listing is the photos. Now, I've already gone ahead and I've put in a total of six photos of our DVD alias. Now, you can put a maximum of 24 photos uh, into your listings, but I would recommend that you play anywhere between sort of six to 10. I believe the eBay algorithm does uh, like to have at least a minimum of six photos. Um, so try and hit that minimum six, but if you can get it up to 10, fantastic. On this occasion here, I've just gone ahead and I've used my staple six photos that I'll always use for any video games or DVDs that I'm trying to sell. Now, the, the process that I go through for DVDs, as you'll see here, I've got a front-on shot of every single one of the five DVDs. From there, I just simply turn it over and you'll see that I've got just all of the photos of the back of the DVD. There's a lot of important information on DVDs on the back, so it's a really important part to show. And then from there, I actually open up one of the DVDs to show what the discs are like inside. And then I do a close-up shot of a single disc itself. I then flip over that single disc to show the quality of the, uh, the disc itself on the back to show that it will play back. And then I go ahead and I put up a, a tower stack. Uh, as my sixth photo. What I would say is if there was a, a random uh, disc that probably wasn't in as best condition, um, I would take an extra photo to show that and I would mention that in the description. But ultimately, just this just highlights the fact that they are all in great condition and there aren't any scary bits that I need to, uh, to focus on. But when it comes to your photos, probably the only other tip that I've got for you guys is just to make sure you've got some really nice box lights. I've got some box lights here. Um, if you don't have box lights yet, if you're just starting out, just try and find yourself a really nice white to plain background um, or even using the natural sunlight as well can be a great way to get some really good bright light into your shot. Uh, as long as you're not playing with any really harsh shadows, um, you should be pretty well set up to take some great photos. But don't underestimate it. Photos are in crucial, crucial part to getting your item sold. And just make sure you've got up between that six to 10 photos to really capture everything that you need to uh, when it comes to your photography. Um, once we've done that, we can then go ahead and we can start to build out our title. Now, I personally believe that title and uh, photos are the two most important parts, uh, along with obviously the third most important being the price, and we'll touch on that later. Um, but when it comes to your title and, and we're playing with DVD, it's the same process for any product that I'm trying to sell. The key words are the words that will always be what the buyer will actually go on to try and search for on eBay. So you've got to think like a buyer. And for me, if someone wants to buy this alias DVD, 
I know that alias would be probably the most important word that somebody would try and search up to find our item. So I'm not going to put any emojis into it. I'm not going to say like new to begin my title. I'm going to use the keyword that could be found the most first, which is alias. The next word that I think could be used quite heavily is DVD. So I'm going to say DVD. And that way, alias DVD stands a really good chance of our item being the one that's positioned first for the buyer. So alias DVD, I'm also going to say what seasons we've got of this as well. So this is going to be season 1 to 5. So alias DVD season 1 to 5. In a very short amount of characters, we've only played with 20 out of 80 characters here. Uh, we've got the fundamental pieces of this item already at the front end of the title. And that is going to help you massively. Um, so alias DVD, season one of five. I'm also going to write here region four. Now region four for DVD is just a, another characteristic of the DVD to let the buyer know what they're getting their hands on. So it is an important feature. Um, this could be something like long sleeve shirt if you're doing a piece of clothing rather than just writing shirt as an example. Uh, or running shoes if you're doing a pair of shoes. A couple of different examples there as to another characteristic feature um, that I would then try and put into the, uh, into the title. Um, so alias DVD, season one to five, region four. I would say also, I think another great feature here is complete series set. Uh, we have every single episode of the TV show Alias, so they need to see that complete series set could be a search term that somebody tries to put into eBay uh, to find our listing. So now we've built out 49 out of 80 characters. Um, it's pretty much everything that we're going to need from a, I guess, necessary point of view. Um, the only other one that I'd probably put in there as well is maybe a, a, an add-up of the discs. There's six discs in every single one of these, so I would say 30 disc set at the end there. So now we've got 60 out of 80 characters. We could do other things, like we could put in the uh, the actor's name, uh, for instance. Um, if there was a split in regions, if some of the DVDs were region two and region four, that might change our title a little, little bit. Um, but alias DVD, season one to five, region four, complete series set, 30 disc set. That pretty much tells you exactly what you're gonna be buying. And it also stands the item a fantastic opportunity to hopefully be found through search. When it comes to subtitles, I don't really ever use that. There's an optional $2 price to add in a subtitle. I just don't think you need to be doing that for literally any listing you ever do. So just ignore that little step there. Um, the next step is item category. We've got DVDs and Blu-rays. That's the category when people search for their items that it's gonna be found in, which is correct. Um, so that's obviously a fantastic allocation already supplied to us by eBay. So we can just leave that there. And then you come down to item specifics. Now, item specifics is very, very important. Um, there are a couple of different search terms. As you'll see down the bottom here in additional, uh, you'll see that there's a lot of search information that eBay is giving us to let us know how important uh, these additional metrics are to our listing. So 742,000 searches by that region code. That's why we put it in so heavily at the start of our title, um, alias season one to five, and then we put in region four straight away because there's such a big search term there. And using this additional uh, item specifics information could actually mean, uh, you could actually see some search st uh, statistics here and that could cause you to manipulate your title, to go back and have a look at your title and think, oh, maybe I should put that into the title as well. Um, so we're going to go through and add in some of these. We've already got format DVD. We've already got the movie title of Alias in there. It's just picked it up from what we put into the title. Now, UPC for DVDs, that's the barcode number on the back here. On the mobile phone, you can actually scan it in. But what I'm going to do really quickly right here is just go ahead and type that in. Uh, 10117037. So now we've got our UPC number. Not super important, but I just like to put in every single item required specific and then we go into the region, obviously region number, uh, where have we got here? Region code. We want region code DVD4. That means it plays in Australia, New Zealand, and Latin America. Um, so that's a good one to be putting in there. The genre, um, let's just call this one, well, it's a drama, but it's also a bit of action. So we'll put in there as well. So there's two. Actor. Now, if we have a look at this one, we have uh, Jennifer Garner. Jennifer Garner. So she'll be in here. She's a good actor. Not Fennifer, Jennifer Garner. There we go, perfect. So Jennifer Garner's been added in. The type, now what this is, is a TV series. So 38, uh, 35.8 thousand searches around TV. Now we want, well one of five has been auto-selected, but we actually wanna, we could go ahead and go one, two, three, four, and five. But because this is a complete series box set, I'm actually gonna remove that, remove that, I'm going to click complete series box set and just remove all the others. 
um, because that's a better search feature for sure. Um, studio, well, I think this was... Studio, to be honest, you could say Warner Brothers or 20th Century Fox, but it's not a massive search term, 26.2 thousand searches. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that. Um, English, though, is a very important one to be putting in there. So I've already gone ahead and now filled out the majority, except for that studio feature, um, all of the required specifics and a few additional specifics. You don't need to get pedantic about the item specifics, but you do want to make sure you hit all the big ones, uh, which we've obviously gone ahead and done there. Um, now, condition, condition, condition description. I don't think I need to write anything more than very good because our, our photos clearly show that these DVDs are in very good condition. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave the item condition as it is. And then for um, the description, I'm just going to go ahead and use the AI description feature, which automatically generates a description for us at a click of a button. It is really, really easy. And right, right there, have a look at that. 30 disc set. Jennifer Garner's in there. She's basically AI has grabbed all of our item specifics and has built us a fantastic item description. So it's never something that I heavily stress too much, the item description. There is something that I would put in here like light surface scratches, uh, if there are any light surface scratches on the disc, or say for instance, um, we had a region two and a region four um, DVD mix. I would say region two for DVD season one, and then region four for DVD season two to five. Something like that, just to basically give a little bit more detail um, that I wouldn't have been able to otherwise provide through photos or title. Um, but this one is a pretty stock standard item. I don't need to do anything with it. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave that descriptive, uh, descriptive title as is. Uh, and then we're going to go into the pricing. Now, the pricing is the third most important part, as I touched on. Let me show you how to do that. So when it comes to doing your pricing, um, very important step, I would say to always go with the buy it now price versus an auction, which is synonymous for eBay. It was always known as an auction platform back when we first started 20 odd years ago. But right now, the best way to get the most amount of money possible is with the buy it now feature. Set a price, put on some uh, best offer, and then you're good to go with a bit of negotiation. So I'm just, uh, I've just loaded up the home screen here, and we're going to be going, just doing a bit of perusing and doing some research on our alias game. And this is a very crucial step to make sure that your item goes on to sell. You want to be competitive with your price points. So we're going to type in alias. We're going to type in DVD 1 to 5 because that is what we're ultimately trying to sell. Now, with this screen here, I'm just going to do a couple of things immediately. And the first one is going over to the right-hand side here, and I'm just going to do a highest price first. Um, and then I'm also going to go over to here and I'm going to hit condition and I want used. I want the most expensive to the least expensive. And as we'll see here, we have a list of 94 results for alias DVD 1 to 5. Now, one further step that I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to scroll down on the left-hand side and I'm just actually going to go here and I'm going to type my country, Australia, Australia only. And you'll see here in Australia, pre-owned DVDs of alias 1 to 5, there's 37 results available for purchase. And you know that they're available for purchase because they're in black. Any black text like that will let you know that it is a listing ready to be bought. Um, then I want to go and do a bit of a scroll through. I'm seeing here, I'm seeing here, there's the, sort of the first match of what we've got. All the DVDs loose at $49.95. And if we do a heavy scroll, you'll start to see that there are a lot more 29.99s, 44, 44, 40. And then we go into the 30s. So as much as there was some expensive price points, we're sort of seeing here that $35 to $40 seems like a really good, attractive listing price. But we need to absolutely confirm that by going in and checking the solds, which is just over here on the left-hand side of the screen. You'll see sold items. And if we click on that, it'll now give us all of the same information, but it'll show us the sales, the sales history on eBay. And as you'll see here, there's only 11 results. So what that tells me is that there's a lot of listings for this uh, DVD set but there isn't that many sales. And what I think is that the majority of those listings are just pricing their item far too high. And if we have a look at this, you'll see the price points. There's a $45 one. Someone was trying to sell that for hundred bucks and yet it's only selling for $45. So that's a really important step to realize. And then we have a look here and we've got 36, 35, 34, 34. So all of those 40, 50, $60 listings that we were seeing available for purchase aren't even being looked at. This right here, this information that we're looking at right now, you can see here, even $29.95, a $19.95, and then a $24.95. So I actually think this DVD is more like a $35 DVD. 
I think we should be pricing for 35. And what that's going to mean is it's going to mean that we're going to fall in a really nice, healthy place because it's going to kind of put us at the, the attractive price point, the lowest price point for a buyer, which is what the buyer will be searching for. Uh, and it's also going to be putting us at an attractive price per the sales that we've seen with the sales history. Now, 90% of eBay sellers will not go to the effort and energy to do what we have just done there. But I can guarantee you by doing that little bit of research, it'll only take you a minute or two um, just to go in and see what the sales are versus how many people are trying to sell that item currently on the present day. Um, you're just going to transact so many more sales because if we had gone with $45, it might have sat for a couple of months longer than what eBay is actually telling us and that is it's a $35 DVD set. So that is how you do your pricing research and it is so, so important. Um, so there's our price point. We've got a quantity of one, uh, just the one DVD bundle. If you had two or three, you could just put two or three in there. Um, $34.95, buy it now. And we're also going to, in the next step here, allow for offers. Um, so I'm going to turn that allow offers feature on and somebody could say, hey, Matt, I'm happy to buy this item off you for 30 bucks. What do you say? And then from there, I could say, look, we'll do $32 as a counter offer. Or I could say, you know what? $30 sounds great and I'll accept it. So 50% of my sales last year came from this best offer feature being turned on. Um, so it is an incredibly important feature for you guys to have running. Um, the next step is postage. Now, if you're just starting out, maybe international postage isn't something you want to dabble with. There's a big enough pool in Australia or your own country, wherever you're watching, um, to be able to sell into. So I've gone ahead and I've actually created um, a bunch of different um, policies for shipping. But I want to show you this one here, which is a very beginner-friendly model of postage. And if we view this policy that I've created, it's basically to say that I'm happy to send it domestically and I don't want to do any international postage. So no international buyers will even see this listing. Uh, it will only go to people within my country of Australia. Um, so having a look at this, um, the postage policy I've set up is just a flat rate free postage. So I've said that we will send via the Australia Post standard parcel of two to six days and it will be a free postage model. So there's no, no handling costs or anything like that. And then the other really important feature is I've said same business day. Now, I think that's a really important step for you guys. If you've never sold an item before, I would still go ahead and do same business day. So as soon as your item sells, you're just putting in the time and the effort to go ahead and then wrap that up and have that shipped out. Um, no international postage under there as well. And then I'm excluding uh, no location. So it can basically go anywhere. Promoted listings is the next one. Now, promoted listings, a bit like the best best offer, about 50% of my sales come through promoted listings. Um, so that's definitely a feature I recommend that you guys use. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to ignore the listing ad rate of 10.7%. And I'm just going to change that to 3%, which is something I recommend you guys do for any item that you're trying to sell. If you're not sure what promoted listings refers to, it's basically just a few extra ad impressions um, that you're going to receive at a rate of 3%. And that is ultimately also going to be the fee that you're going to pay when the item goes on to sell if it's found through that promoted listing sitting at the top of the search bar. You're basically guaranteeing yourself uh, top of the search bar rankings uh, if you're going with that 3%. Um, so I recommend that. Don't do the 10% because it is ultimately the fees that will come out of your pocket. Um, so 3% isn't too much of a nasty surprise if it does sell that way. From there, just hit list for free at the bottom and that listing will either go live or if you click schedule, it will schedule per the date and the time uh, that you're trying to have the item go live. So I like to get things live immediately. So we're going to hit list now and this thing is ready for sale. Now, depending on what your goals are, whether you're just trying to sell one item that you found lying around the house or if you want to create a bit of a side hustle on eBay, the best way to go about further sales is to continually list more and more items on a consistent basis. And if you can be listing it consistently and correctly, like you've seen in this video, then uh, you're going to go a long way to generating consistent sales. But it all comes down to the product. Uh, you really want to make sure that you're buying the right products. And this video right here is a perfect example of a number of different items that go on to sell for some fantastic money on eBay. Um, so I highly recommend that you guys go and check it out. Good luck selling on eBay. Thanks for being here for this one. We'll see you soon.